by giving us some free food. They provide it. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. All right, <laughs> All right 7:39. Are you having trouble getting out of bed this morning? Well, consider yourself lucky. There's so many children that don't have that luxury of sleeping in something cozy and soft. But there's one man who wanted to solve that problem. Makes him this week's extraordinary ordinary. I got one in. I was having a crisis of faith. I was thinking, why me? Why was I so blessed? And sometimes you wonder why you're put on the face of the earth, and sometimes things happen to make you realize why you were put on the face of the earth. You okay? Jim Baker, his wife, and another couple, no strangers to working with her hands. You want me to pull a little bit? Good five okay. spaces, nothing new. A little fun together while they put the pieces together. I thought it was all about building beds. And uh, that's, oh, that's cool. We'll buy lumber, we'll go, we'll have some fellowship, we'll meet some new friends, which we have is fantastic, um, and we'll build beds. They build beds for those in need. The need would have you fall out of your bed. Actually surprised that there were so many kids locally who didn't have beds. If you talk to teachers, if you talk to guidance counselors, if you talk to DCF, you find out that there's thousands of kids <coughs> that are sleeping in on the floor, basically. Jim Baker started the Sleep in Heavenly Peace, guys. Sleep in Heavenly Peace of Pinellas County. It's a chapter of the national organization. They're all hand built. They're built out of pine lumber. We purchased the wood locally. Everything is new. New mattresses. We purchased new bedding. We purchased, we go and we put them together on site for the kids. And each bed cost about $150 by the time we're done with the lumber and the mattresses. Organization has 30 to 40 volunteers. Ugh. They also plan corporate builds where people can help out with little to no experience. We train new, new uh, volunteers. If you've never sanded before, you learn to sand. If you've never drilled before, you learn to drill. And this chapter started in the middle of 2018. They're fairly new, but they've made, assembled, and delivered more than 100 beds to kids who didn't have one. That's more than 100 of these. Absolutely. <laughs> We always say it's, it's, we don't have to, we get to. So we never, ever think we're going to give more than we get back from these kids and bless their hearts. It's exciting because we need somewhere to sleep and because, and because we um, don't want to sleep on the ground. To go see some of these things, I, I cried after my first delivery. It was so impactful in a good way and a bad way. The goal is for there never to be a need for SHP. As long as there is, then getting the name out there. No kid sleeps on the floor in our town. That's our mission. If somebody's in Pinellas County, if they're at the diner, if they're at the restaurant, and somebody says sleep in heavenly peace, or somebody's wearing a sleep in heavenly peace t-shirt, that everybody knows what they're talking about. And that means that we've done our job and the word is out and we've put as many kids as we possibly can into beds in our town. Yeah, it's hard not to fall in love with Jim and that organization, right? Sleep in Heavenly Peace is working to build and assemble 350 to 400 beds during this next year. You have an idea, someone or something you think is an extraordinary ordinary, shoot me a suggestion on my Facebook page, Fox 13's Walter Allen, or at Twitter, at Walter Allen TV.